guys Andrew here welcome back to the video and today I'm gonna show you guys how to install Forge, Optifine and the Shaders mod so it's pretty simple actually first uh, check the links in the description and I'm not gonna show you how to download it because it's pretty obvious uh, but yeah the links are in the description so uh, when you've downloaded it and you put it on your desktop double click the Forge installer uh, which should be the first link then uh, mark off the install client here and make sure it's selected your Minecraft here it should buy it should be that by default so uh, yeah, all you need to do is click OK. So there you go. Now it says it install a profile for you. Uh, so what you do then is uh, you go you open Minecraft and edit profile. Make sure you have a release uh, 1.7.2 Forge or uh, just make sure it's Forge selected here. Uh, whatever version you download, uh, make sure it's selected th that version right here. And then press save profile uh, and then hit play because it has to download some stuff, I think. Um, right there you go. So when you open it, it should say that Forge is installed. There you go. Forge, uh, three mods loaded, three mods active. Uh, well, there's no mods right now. There's only this Forge stuff. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to percent app data. So you type percent app data percent. Hit enter. Then go to Minecraft. Then uh, you should have a mods folder here. And what you want to do is you want to drag. Uh, oh crap! Sorry. Let me just minimize this a little bit. There you go. You want to drag Optifine and the Shaders mod core into uh, the mods folder, like this. So now these two files should be in here, as you can see. And then you just open Minecraft again. All right. So make sure it has Forge selected like that and hit play again. And uh, yeah, this this texture back here we're gonna install in a second. So there you go. Now it says Optifine there. So let's see here. Yeah, Optifine, Optifine, blah blah. blah. Uh, then you go to Options, Shaders, and as you can see here, I have a few shader packs installed. Um, but what you want to do is to open the shader packs folder, uh, and by default it shouldn't have anything right here. Uh, there's tons of different shaders you can download. Um, so you want to drag the Seuss uh, version 10.1 preview or whatever whatever. Uh, shaders you downloaded and just drag it into here and uh, I have already got it there so don't worry about this there you go then go back to Minecraft and make sure you select the Zeus uh, version 10 or whatever you selected um, hit done and as you can see we got Optifine installed because we can change the render distance a lot and we can turn clouds off and that kind of stuff so let's go in game and check how it looks right here Oh, telling terrain. There you go. Uh, personally, I don't really like this shader. Uh, this is the newest one. Uh, I haven't enabled the clouds because, uh, yeah, there's a few settings you need to go through, I think. Uh, but yeah, I have got uh, another shader pack called Rudo Place, which is my favorite one. Uh, so let's click that. And as you can see, it's more. I, I like the more orange feel, the warm feel. Uh, the Seuss original one has uh, kind of a cold feel to it, so I thought this is better. Uh, I might link this in the description as well if you, guys, if you guys want to. So yeah, hopefully you guys understood this tutorial and if I uh, yeah, if I helped you, make sure you leave a like <laughs> and I shall see you all next time.